Good evening, I'm Dave Morris. Welcome to The Play. We'll talk big money in downtown and we'll talk Big 12 football down in Dallas. But first, Oklahoma slipped three notches last year and now ranks 39th among the 50 states for the overall well-being of its children. This according to a recent report. Terry Smith, president of the Oklahoma Institute for Child Advocacy, said the report demonstrates the state has not been making a good investment in its youth. Clearly the most important factor that we're seeing in the data is poverty. Uh, one in four kids in Oklahoma lives in poverty. We have to try to do something to improve the status of kids in, in, that live in poverty, all the way from offering them the opportunity for uh, early childhood programs like pre-K and Head Start and getting them prepared uh, to be successful in school. And Randy Ellis will have more on the report and reaction from local officials in upcoming editions of The Oklahoman. In a few weeks, Oklahoma City children will be playing at a newly refurbished park. Officials closed down Memorial Park, that's near Northwest 36th and Classen, earlier this year to make some major renovations. The Oklahoman's William Crum will look at the progress of the remodeling project, as well as focus on what residents will be able to do at the park once it's reopened. More than $100 million in development currently underway downtown. But that figure is nothing compared to the potential boom ahead. Our Steve Lackmire takes a look at how downtown could easily be looking at more than $1 billion in investment over the next couple years, including the potential for two mid to high rise towers not even yet announced. And the Big 12 sports staff is down in Dallas for the Big 12 media days. I should say the Oklahoman sports staff is in Dallas for Big 12 media days. Today is the first day reporters get to speak with coaches and players, but it was comments from the conference commissioner that has everyone talking. No, uh, no sunshine and roses from Bob Bowlesby. He said that the, the landscape of college athletics will change. There wasn't a question about that. He said sports will be eliminated when the outcome of the Ed O'Bannon case and other uh, lawsuits is, is over, that uh, men's Olympic sports especially will be in danger. Well, it's a, uh, a lot of different things. Hopefully the governance of, uh, of the uh, Power Five conferences will change. Maybe we'll allow for some uh, improvement there, but uh, very interesting uh, talk from Bob Bowlesby. Interviews with coaches and players continue through tomorrow. Our sports staff will have a number of articles previewing the 2014-2015 football season and upcoming editions of the Oklahoma, along with multiple videos there from Dallas. You saw the Baylor Bear video bombing our guys as they were having a serious discussion. Go figure. You can find all those videos online at newsok.com. In weather, summer temperatures have officially returned to the Sooner State. Forecasters predict highs in the upper 90s for Tuesday through the rest of the week. The hot temperatures combined with humidity will make it feel like 100 degrees or hotter outside. That'll do it. These stories and more in upcoming editions of The Oklahoman and online at newsok.com. Have a great night, everyone.